has been the best first date you went on? Story 1. My current GF and I had our first date at a board game cafe in her hometown. We got there in the afternoon and stayed for over five hours well into the evening, talking surprisingly easily with one another and enjoying some games. It was a nice November night, so we went for a walk around the city block after leaving the cafe to continue chatting. We held hands despite the cold. It ended with a kiss and promise of another date. She's been my person ever since. Story 2. Last weekend, I had my best first date ever. A common acquaintance kind of set us up. We initially wanted to go for a walk, but it was raining heavily. So she picked me up at the train station, and we went to her place. The moment I entered her room, I saw five books that I read and liked. Off to a good start. We talked for hours, and when we looked at the time, figured we'd better get something to eat, so we ordered some sushi. Always fun eating with chopsticks. After that, we both felt like going for a walk, so we took that walk and had a lot of fun. After that, went to her place again for a drink. Talked for hours again. Totally forgot the time and almost missed my last train home. The date lasted for over eight hours, and it was honestly my most enjoyable first date ever. To be continued. Edit. We kissed at the end and immediately made plans for a second date next Saturday. Story 3. I met a guy on Tinder. He was dreamy in his pictures. We texted for a couple weeks. I had just moved to that area, so I wanted to make sure he wasn't some creepy weirdo. We got to know each other pretty well, so I agreed on a first date, watching the sunset on the river after work. My apartment at the time shared a parking lot with some other local businesses, so I had him pick me up outside one of the storefronts. We drove like three miles down the road to where the pull-off was. He brought chairs for us to sit in and a couple beers, and we sat and enjoyed the sunset. The date was going really well. You could tell he was nervous around me, so I asked if we could go for a drive. He had Jeep with the doors and top off. We went for a drive down the river and I was singing my heart out. I kept seeing him peeking at me. I told him to pull off at another area and we just unloaded on each other about our past, what we wanted, what we saw for our futures, etc., etc. It was going so well. On the way back to my place, I made him pull over. I grabbed his face and kissed him. We get married in 26 days. Edit, thank you everyone. Sorry to disappoint you that we didn't bang on the first date. Not our style, haha. Story 4. I remember how I used to be depressed, maybe more just annoyed, that my stock answer for questions like these was a really fantastic date that I'd been on back in 2013. We matched on Tinder when I was home for Christmas but didn't live in the area. I made that clear, but she didn't care. Literally said, whatever. You seem fun. Want to grab a beer sometime this week anyways? We went on three really great dates. On that first date, we talked for hours, ended up getting told the bar was closing, and we had to leave. I just really clicked with her on a level you don't with most people. But since we lived on opposite sides of the country, literally, Portland, Oregon, and Savannah, Georgia, I figured it was a wash and didn't really pursue much. We stayed in casual contact and both went on to date other people and live our lives. I always kind of knew in the back of my head it was a big what if and felt like a major league missed connection. I remember in like 2015, a friend saw me texting her out at a bar one night and asked who I was texting. I explained the background and insisted I didn't have any designs when he pressed me a little. He asked if we lived in the same city if things might be different. I kind of jokingly said, Oh, 100% would be trying to wifey her up if I lived closer. It turns out that I wasn't joking quite as much as I thought. In 2016, I moved to the West Coast, a different state but technically closer, and now we will be celebrating our third wedding anniversary this summer. Story 5 Went dancing one night and met this absolutely beautiful girl who was from out of town and by herself. This girl was house-sitting for her aunt and had the balls to go out by herself. Anyways, after dancing and talking to her, I figured I'd invite her to sit with me and my friend so she didn't have to stand by herself. Ended up getting her number and we went out the next day. We went to Top Golf. It was hilarious as she had never swung a golf club. And I hadn't in a really long time. And then we went dancing again. Then on our way back, she wanted to pick up a red box, and so we picked up Gone Girl. I had never seen it before and had no idea what it was about, but she suggested it. That was kind of weird, but she told me that was the best date she had ever been on, which made me feel amazing. Then she went back home the next day, and we kept in contact, but then she ended up getting terminated in a car wreck about two months later. A rep. Story 6. Met online, and we decided to meet up for coffee after work. Coffee turned into me asking her if she wanted to have dinner. Dinner turned into going for a walk. Walk turned into her asking if I wanted to get a drink. After that, we both kind of said we needed to be at work in the morning, but set up a date for 10 a.m. Saturday. We've been married for nine years now, all because I told her that a clear warning sign in a relationship is the other person shuffling around and mumbling about brains. Story 7. 
We went to a diner after a night of drinking. I knew the guy before we started dating. I got drunk at his place and stayed the night. He slept on the couch. I woke up first and offered to make breakfast for everyone. He said no that he wanted to take me out. We went to a rundown diner. It was just the two of us and it was really nice. We talked about all kinds of stuff and really hit it off. We spent the rest of the day down by the river with his dog just talking and playing with the dog. It wasn't anything fancy. We were hungover and exhausted, but it was still the best first date ever. Twelve years later and we're still together. Story 8. We went to a rib shack. If you're both the kind of person to go get handsy at a rib shack when you're trying to impress each other, you might be on to something. He was fun, not afraid to look a bit silly, and somehow managed to make me feel like I was being dainty chowing down on a full rack. I absolutely, 100% was not, and nor was he. That guy was a real winner. If it had turned out I was straight, 100% would have married him. Story 9. It was nothing super crazy. I asked her out after talking to her for about four days and came up with a date that had a lot going on as to not add stress to her part. I took her bowling first as to have a nice icebreaker and to be in an open area with others so there is less stress. Then we went to Chick-fil-A for dinner and ate it on the top of a parking garage overlooking the downtown of the city. We then went to cookout and tried her favorite milkshake, watermelon, and we took Enneagram tests while eating them on the side of the road in front of a field. She said she loves car washes, so we go to a car wash. Afterwards, we go to her favorite spot in our county to watch the sunset. And then I dropped her off afterwards. It's been the best ten months of my life since... Story 10. Met a woman at my favorite coffee shop. She was an artist and a little different, but stunning. She immediately spilled her coffee on herself and said something like, You already got me all wet. We had an amazing time and the chemistry was off the charts. It was supposed to be a quick coffee date. The date lasted all night. After coffee, we went and got dinner and drinks. We walked through the city and passionately kissed at every stop. She finally had to leave to get back home, and we texted throughout the week and had a date planned for the next Friday. After Wednesday, I never heard from her again. A couple years later, I'm scrolling through YouTube, and I see that she has a video of her singing opera in what looks like a little college piano room. I gave it a, like, and that was that. Hands down top three first dates of my life. Story 11. A mutual friend introduced me to his friend, and we all went bowling together one night. I gave the mutual friend a hug at the end before going home. Well, about three minutes down the road, I get a call, and it's the other guy asking why he didn't get a hug goodbye. So in the next town over, we stop driving so I can give him a couple hugs. Eleven years later, we're married and have two kids, so far, together. Story 12. I took her to a super cool underground speakeasy in L.A., one of those places no one knows about. She ordered a Midori Sour and told me she doesn't really like to drink. Red flag, I'm a partier. She hates bars, second red flag. I love a good bar and quite a few bad ones. Her aspiration in life is to be a stay-at-home mom and have an army of kids. Oof, those red flags just keep coming. And she's a virgin at 28. Strike four, I'm out. Then she says she feels feverish and wants to leave, now. She pukes twice on the way back to her place and is burning up when I drop her off. She's so sick I have to help her to her door and awkwardly meet her parents while she retches. Oh yeah, she lived with her parents too. Of course, within a few days, I'm sick as a dog, too, with one of the worst stomach flus I've ever had. Our son says it sounds like a terrible first date, but honestly, it could have been worse. Story 13. The date that wasn't a date. We both wanted to see Batman, 1989, but didn't really have anyone to go see it with. So, not a date. Just going to see the film and getting a burger afterwards. Only we ended up chatting until fairly late, and agreed that we'd go hang out at the mall or stroll through a local park the next weekend. And we did, and it kept up like that, except for the occasional screaming breakup for months. By that time, we were joking about if we get married, and somehow one night, one of us slipped and said, when we get married. The other asked when, and was answered firmly, when, both of remember the night, but think it was the other who slipped. Our 31st anniversary is in two weeks. Story 14. We'd known each other for about six months when he asked me out on a date. We initially only meant to drive about an hour away, have a picnic, and come home. But we ended up driving all the way to the coast, parking the car up near the water, and watching for whales, seals, and penguins. We stayed all day, just talking and eating, and spent the night sleeping in the back of the car at the beach. It was perfect. The next morning he asked me to marry him, and I did. Story 15. I was heading home from shooting senior pics at a nearby college campus, and on a whim I thought, what are the chances this girl is able to get together right now? I texted her at 8. 
I know this is ridiculous, but what are the chances you're able to meet a complete stranger at the nature realm for a bit, like now? I promise we'll go on a real date soon. She said she could be there at 8.30. It got dark fast. She brought wine in her Yeti mug, and we wandered back to a bench somewhere and proceeded to make inappropriate jokes about how easy it would be to hide a body back at anywhere in the park. She tried to one-up me at every comment. And really, she's way too pretty to not know better. Gorgeous girl, ready in ten minutes, brings wine, makes inappropriate jokes. Come on, that just doesn't happen. That was one year ago yesterday. Can't wait to see her at 5 p.m. today. She's going to help me dig the trench to run conduit to my garage, then I'm going to cuddle the nonsense out of her till morning. Story 16. It wasn't meant to be a date, just my, now husband, coming back to town for Christmas break and us catching up. We were supposed to see a movie in the discount theater. I checked the times the night before, but apparently they either didn't update the website or I caught it right before they did. We to the sky out at the Starbucks next door for a few hours, then decided go for pizza and to the sky out there for another couple hours. We didn't do anything amazing. It happened to be perfect because I had found the perfect person to spend time with. Story 17. Sadly, we didn't end up together, but this is like the only date that I actually still smile about. We met at a card game shop. He played the Pokemon TCG and I didn't, but I played MTG, so it was like, I'll give it a he's cute AF. And he showed me the ropes. We played for a while, and then we parted ways. I was just starting college a bit late, and he was just finishing law school. But about two years later, I was with family in a different state when all of a sudden he messages me. We reconnect and hang out like all day. We're roaming around the area. It's where he grew up as it turns out. Also, we were playing Pokemon Go as it was brand new. I ended up going to his friend's house that night. We had some fun, and then we parted ways again. I still had school, and he was looking for a serious job since he was still newer to the field. We met one more time and it was fun, but I think we both realized it just wasn't meant to be. I don't mean it to be a downer, since a lot of people ended up with their the one in other posts. I honestly think if circumstances had been different, had we met like four years later and done everything else the same, we could be together now. But the process of getting our lives going was too hard on relationship prospects. Story 18. A few years ago, I met this guy on EME. We had been talking for a couple months. He lived in a different state and suggested I choose a place to meet up. I jokingly said, Annie ye where? He said, yep. I said, how about Canada? And laughed. He said, do you have a passport? I do. I told him I get cold easily, because this was a few weeks before New Year's. Anyway, in the end, he suggested, and we agreed on Hawaii for three days. He asked me to give him some ideas on what we could do there. So I did my research and sent him a bunch of ideas. Scuba diving, parasailing, restaurant locations, etc. He paid for my trip to meet him at his state, then our flight together to Hawaii. We did everything on the list I sent him. And on New Year's Eve, we went to the Rumfire New Year's celebration. Everywhere we went, it was VIP and fine dining. Each morning, he would bring me a cup of coffee. One of the days we were hiking, my shoes started to give me a blister. After asking me my shoe size, he left and came back with shoes and band-aids. We only kissed once, and by the end of the third day, he held my hand while we were walking along the beach. The entire time, he was such a gentleman and so respectful. I will never forget that first date. Story 19. Like eight years ago, this older writer guy took me out for coffee at some really cool coffee shop in a huge old house. He told me about the book he was writing. Afterward, we went to an art museum, the sort of like really weird off the wall. Sort of art that only art people seem to understand. Loved it. Didn't understand it. Then we went for a walk. A huge peach yellow polka dot beetle like the size of a quarter landed on my chest and I lost my cow. He got it off of me. We went to a lake and stared at the city lights and talked. Then we went to his place and we watched the Star Wars holiday special because I'd never seen it, and it sounded like the sort of thing I'd love. I do love it. Then he lit candles and turned on angsty 80s music, The Smiths, The Cure, Tears for Fears, etc., and we bang. It was awesome. 1010 would date again. Story 20. I was born and grew up in Paris. When I was like 17, I met a guy at a party. He took me on this totally cliché, romantic Parisian date. We walked hand-in-hand hand on the Quai de Seine, ate macarons, then he took me to Shakespeare and Co., a British library facing Notre Dame. There is a piano in the shop, so he played a song for me. Then we kissed, authentic French kiss, you may say, on a small alcove in the shop. It was magical, but the guy was in peach and tried to get in my pants second date. I don't even remember his name. Found my soulmate years later after a terrible first date, so... Story 21. Met up with this girl at brewery. Vibed right away. She was super cute. Beautiful big blue eyes. Great smile. Had like three beers. 
I was feeling confident and she seemed amenable, so I asked her back to my place. We walked back to my apartment as the sun was setting. It was early summer, just a beautiful evening, got back, jumped each other immediately. It felt like we were completely in tune with what each other wanted. No awkward moments, no wasted energy. Just a smooth ramp up of tension to an extremely satisfying release, or multiple releases in her case. Laid together afterwards, just completely spent. Some fun banter in the afterglow. After about an hour, she had get going, walked her to her car, kissed her goodbye. She drove off, and I never saw her again. Picture perfect one night stand. Just a lovely and completely self contained experience with no complications or awkwardness or hurt feelings. Story 22 Flew to another country. Went for a drink, then ended up walking and talking for hours. I was standing in heels for like two hours, and it didn't even hurt. That's when I knew he's a keeper. Despite him taking ages to make a move, lol. Gave him all the signals that I was willing to kiss on the first date. I usually don't. But when he finally did, it was great. I still give him nonsense for this lol. Story 23. Met this amazing girl who worked at a pub I went to after school. I was 17 and only got Pepsi, so DW. I only went there because I wanted to visit my friend who also works there. We got chatting about comics and films whilst she worked, and I eventually asked if she was free after the shift ended. Turns out she wasn't but agreed to meet up after her next shift the following week. Next week rolls around. I wait for her shift to end, and we go on a classy date to Subway of all places. We chatted in there for a while, then went back to my car as a place of refuge. That day it was also poured water it down with rain, and surrounding my car was a giant puddle we had to leap through to get there. We hang out in my car, in the car park, until it closed, but we moved to another nearby car park. We chatted for five hours in my car, during which we ended up holding hands. Don't remember when. At the end of the wonderful date, I dropped her off at her place, and she walks off. I'm sitting there smiling after this great evening. Then she comes back to the car and kisses me, saying, See ya later. Truly the best date of my life. It ended up being short-lived cause she was only home from uni for the summer. It only lasted three months, but they were the best three months of my life. Story 24. We were kind of a star-crossed, lovers-type deal. Couldn't be seen in public in case any of our mutuals saw us. And we worked together until 4 a.m. We had known each other for a while, but mutually confessed feelings to each other over text that week. Brought her to my apt at 4 a.m., held each other in our work clothes, and got to know each other until well past sunrise. She's pregnant with my child now, lol. Story 25. He took me to a gun range. I had always wanted to go try shooting a gun, and he was a big gun guy, so, logically, it was a great first date idea. We had a blast, pun intended, as he spent the time to teach me about the different guns and make sure I had fun. Afterwards, we went to a little flea market next door to the range, and had lunch at this awesome little Polish diner thing. Our 10th wedding anniversary is coming up this summer, and he still likes to brag that he's bought me more guns than jewelry. Oh. Story 26. Unconventional. I was living in a rehab for alcohol addiction. Had been there three years. She came to meet me at mine in East London. We walked to Brick Lane, chilled out at the markets, accidentally joined a demonstration, had coffee, walked along the canal, went shopping, back to mine, made wraps, Watched Finding Dory. She has arrived at 12 p.m. and let just after 12 a.m. We've been married 2.5 years and have an 18-month-old boy. I'm ducking blessed. Story 27. Wasn't formally a date, but basically ended up being a blind date that spawned organically. Ha ha. Bit of setup. But it's a nice story. I was visiting my cousin up in Seattle in 2019 and took some time off to set up a long weekend he had work on Friday, and I went out to find stuff to do till he was off later, around five-ish. Walked over to Pike Place Market and was standing in line for breakfast at this Russian bakery. I just struck up a conversation with the pretty girl behind me when I handed her the menu that was being passed down the line. She had a very unique accent that I couldn't quite pin down, probably not a native, and I was intrigued, so I just continued chatting with her. We talked the whole time in line, got my food, then I decided on a whim to just stick around and wait for her. Why not? What did I have to lose? She got her food, and then we decided to walk over to a nearby grassy area to sit around and eat breakfast and talk. We were both visiting from out of town. She came up from the Bay Area. I was visiting from San Diego and just being tourists exploring certain parts of Seattle. She was there on a business trip that had just finished up and had a flight out the next afternoon. So she only had one day to explore the area. We sat around another 15, 20-ish minutes just talking and getting to know each other. She was a Russian girl who was born and raised in the UK, that explained the accent, 
but had moved to the Bay Area in 2017 for work. I'll call her L. moving forward. This was my second trip to Seattle, had some familiarity with touristy stuff around those parts, so I decided to show L. around Pike Place Market. Ended up walking around and checking out shops, sampling free samples, and just checking out the tourist attractions all throughout that area. L. mentioned that she had a discount deal for an under-the-city tour and asked if I wanted to come along, decided sure, why not? I've got nothing else till later. Ended up going on a 45-ish minute history tour throughout some underground parts of Seattle buildings and getting an overview of the downtown scene. Super interesting. Afterwards, we walked around and talked some more before deciding to hit up a bar to continue the conversation around 3. 30-ish. My cousin had texted me a little earlier and I let him know, Hey, I met a girl and I'm having a great time hanging out so I might be late. He was totally cool about it and said go ahead and enjoy. He would just meet up with some co-workers and catch up with me later that night. Felt a little bad, but figured we'd make it up by just hanging out the entire weekend anyway. Randomly hitting off with a stranger in another city just doesn't happen all the time, right? Let's see where this ends up. Anyway, we ended up being there for like three, one, two hours just talking about anything and everything over a few drinks. No one was there when we first sat at the bar. It was completely empty aside from another pair of people out by the tables, but by the time we were getting ready to leave, it was completely packed, and we both could tell that the bartender was kind of just hoping for us to go already, haha. Both of us were hungry again, so we just did a quick Google search for any specialty foods that we should check out for dinner. Apparently Seattle is known for teriyaki? Cool stuff. Stopped by the nearest hole in the wall that served it with good ratings and just ordered some food and continued talking. We were there until closing when they kicked us out around 8, 30-ish. We walked around for a little more after that, but then I remembered that my cousin had given me his keys to get back in. He was out drinking with co-workers, so I definitely had to get back before he did. So unfortunately, I had to head back, let Elle know, and we began saying our goodbyes by giving each other a hug. Before we split off, she asked me whether I had any social media and if we could keep in touch. I was super flattered, mentioned that I only used Messenger, but not really Facebook or anything else, but yeah, let's get it set up. Went to add her on Messenger, but it turns out you can only add via FB itself. Did not know that. Proceed to scramble for like a minute, as I signed in on my phone to reactivate my account, and trying passwords until I eventually got in to add her as a friend, and then send a quick text message. Success! We each gave each other another hug, said our goodbyes, and then headed our separate ways. That was pretty long-winded, but it was easily one of the best dates I'd ever had. Hours felt like minutes, and we were vibing with conversations that ranged from work to growing up to relationships to music to life in general. It was awesome. I could have spoken to her for hours and hours longer. I only had a chance to visit the Bay Area once since then on a trip, but alas, bad luck led to me narrowly missing her during the holidays as she was out of town. Then the pandemic hit and yeah, it hasn't really worked out. We'll talk every now and then via FB every few months. Maybe a happy birthday or general, hey, how's it going? But man, it's just not the same. I really would like to see her again someday once things get back to normal. That was just such a great day. I'd be very interested in seeing whether we have the same chemistry next time we meet or if it was just lightning in a bottle on vacation. We'll just have to see. Story 28. I don't have tons of experience because I had my first date ever the past year, but it was nice. We FaceTimed a bit because you know, and once we were both clear and knew each other for a bit, I went and picked him up, he was in a different town, and took him back to my place where he stayed for the weekend. So our first date was essentially smoking candy and flipping in my apartment and just chilling for a weekend, cooking good food and going for walks and cow. It was great fun. Honestly, IDK, what dating in public conventionally is going to be like, but just vibing with another guy smoking some candy and getting to know him was great. Story 29. Nothing fancy or particularly romantic. Just Guinness at an Irish pub. Hours of talking about everything. Hobbies, family, work, friends, values, books, holidays the documentary I saw the day before, and so on. Some kissing. I like that part. Maybe a boring answer, but with the right person, you don't always need to be or do something special. We live near the pub now, and recently had a Guinness there with our baby in a stroller, while we waited to go pick up our three-year-old from kindergarten. Great man and still great Guinness. Story 30. When I was 15, I was supposed to go on a class trip to a university, but me and this girl were singled out by the director and told we weren't being allowed to go due to circumstances. 
Long story, so we had already had to ask permission from all our teachers, so we basically not expected in class. So I asked her if she wants to get in my car and let's just leave. Was a beater car. We drove around then ended up having breakfast at a place. We split the check, then we found a place that did kayaking in a harbor, so I said, fudge it, let's do that if you want. So we did. I offered to pay. My dad had given me two gift cards that his work had given him for some Starbucks and movie passes. So we went and did that too. I paid because I had the gift cards. Basically, we were on an accidental date. We went to a grocery store and bought bulk candy and had some too. We had a really good time. The next day, everyone in school teased us that we went on a date. We denied it. We didn't go out on a second date, but we remained friends. The fun part about this story is fast forward a couple years, and a few months after high school was over, and we started to hang out more, and eventually started going out. And then, yes, eventually we got married and have been now for 12 years. Therefore, I can honestly say that was my best first date ever. Story 31. We were supposed to go to a brewery, but new restrictions canceled those plans, so we went to a vineyard instead. The vineyard was almost an hour away and we would be driving together, so basically it would have been awkward as all fudge having to drive home together. Anyway, the date at the vineyard was great. We drove back and started jamming to some random peach old CDs in my car. When we got to my house, I asked if she wanted to hang out and she said yes. While looking for movies together, we kissed and ended up cuddling on the couch and watched a few movies together. I think the whole date probably ended up being like five, six hours and it was great. We have our year anniversary coming up in the next few weeks. Story 32. With the woman who became my wife. A local guy who holds a massive summer party at his vacation house near our family house invites neighbors over to join the party, rather than fume about the noise, absolute lack of parking, etc. Usually it's a pig roast theme, but this year it's a huge piece of beef roasting in a coal pit. I head over to the bar and draw a pint from a spigot in the side of a fridge someone converted into a Keganator to terminate time until food is ready. A pretty woman there, wearing a very alluring shade of red lipstick and sunglasses, asks me to pour her one as well. We get to talking. I told her why I was there and she informed me her friend's husband was there doing the music and she went to keep her company. We talk while watching drunken adults play with lawn darts and we decide to blow the party for a bit and I show her the neighborhood. We get back too late as her friend and ride home had left but a friend's sister gives us a ride to the ferry. We talk all through the ferry and bus ride and have some light refreshments once at her sister's house. He cat is right there, very suspicious of me, and we decide to take a walk in the moonlight. The cat gets out and follows us around the neighborhood, darting from lawn to lawn, checking in with us before disappearing back into the bush. On a dark trail, light only by moonlight, we get a bit amorous and I get to see one boob in the pale moonlight. The cat keeps track of us but keeps vanishing into the brush again. We share a bed for the night but no close relationship takes place, just a lot of touching and kissing. I leave in the morning with the path of my life changed. I still have the bus receipt in an empty box of Tic Tacs someplace. Story 33. With my current SO, we chatted on Tinder for a bit, had a great conversation, and we made plans to go hiking as a first date. In retrospect, probably not a smart move for a first date. Anyways, we show up and we start walking through this forest that is substantially bigger than I imagined. I was a bit nervous, but the reciprocity in conversation was so good that I almost didn't notice two and half hours went by. We talked the whole time had awesome back and forth, laughed a lot, and fed off of each other that there was not an awkward moment throughout the entire hike. We even joked about how it would have been such a disaster if at any point it had turned super awkward or if the other person didn't have anything to say. I've had amazing first dates in the past, but for me, this one definitely takes the cake. Story 34. It was a semi-blind date with another couple. We met briefly a couple of months before for a bit, and the other couple set up the date. We had dinner, played pool, the usual first day nonsense. At the end of the night, I dropped her off and leaned in for a hug and a kiss on the cheek, and she stuck her tongue down my throat. After the date, she called her mom and left a voicemail saying she's gonna marry me. The voicemail was played at our wedding. Story 35. I met my wife through a matchmaker in the 90s. Every week, I would show up to my matchmaker's office, and I'd be shown VHS tapes of local single people that were clients of hers. If I liked a tape, she would show that person my tape. And if she felt like we'd be a good match, She'd set us up on a date. My matchmaker set me up on a blind date and the two of us went bowling and she absolutely whooped me. Then we walked around the area, got a few drinks, and six months later we were picking out a ring together. Still send my matchmaker Christmas cards to this day. Story 36. I took my first ever ecstasy pill in a dingy old club in my hometown. I bumped into him on the dance floor just as I was coming up. He was absolutely glorious. 
I loved him a little right from the beginning. We danced, smoked, and shared a Vicks nasal inhaler for a little menthol rush. He kissed me at the end of the night. It was perfect. Eighteen years, two kids later, I still think he's glorious. I still have that crusty old Vicks inhaler, too. Story 37. Blind date set up by mutual friend. Immediate attraction and chemistry. We both loved beer, bars, and karaoke. Did all three over an eight-hour period while publicly making out and getting handsy. She had two Mu H drinks, so I offered to drive her home. She lives with her parents while in graduate school, so we pulled into a high school parking lot and had close relationship in my car. We ended up dating three or four months. Story 38. I had two first dates with my ex-BF. Once was years before we became a couple, and the second was when we were officially together. On our first date as a couple, he took me on a short road trip that took less than 30 hours. We had to go back immediately because I still have to go back to school. Our relationship was a secret, and my mom thought I was on a sleepover. We went up north, up till Pagudpud, Philippines, and we only stopped for a few moments whenever we passed by a beach spot or when we want to relax for a while and eat. And of course, to sleep. It wasn't much. We didn't spend that much money, mostly for gas and food only plus overnight stay here was cheap. But it was the best memory that I ever had with him. LDR sucks major balls, so we had to cherish every minute that we can get. My peach was grounded when I got home because my mom kind of found out, but it was totally worth it. The only regret that I had was that we didn't take that much photos. Only about four. Five, I think.